morning. Today is Tuesday, the fourth week of Easter. Our opening song is Softly and Tender, Jesus is Calling. Please join in if you know it. Thanks. 
thanks be to God. Our response is Alleluia. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things have said of you, O city of God. Alleluia. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord. O Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born there, and Zion, they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the most high Lord. Alleluia. They shall know when the peoples are enrolled. This man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance. My home is within you. Alleluia. Here in the gospel today, we hear in the gospel the people say to Jesus, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, just say so. And we heard him reply, I have told you, and you don't believe me. I've done signs for you, and you don't believe me. It's a good thing for all of us to consider. The signs of God are in front of us, even in very difficult times. But do we believe? Do we truly have faith, even in the most difficult of times? There are always opportunities in front of us for faith. There are opportunities in front of us for trust. Do we see them for what we are? Do we take advantage of them? We hear Jesus say, I am the Good Shepherd. My sheep know me and they follow me. Do we truly follow the Good Shepherd? Do we truly try to be a part of his flock and follow in faith? We pray today for all those who are sick. They may know the healing touch of God. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for first responders, we pray for doctors, nurses, all medical personnel who are caring for the sick, for those who are seeking cures and vaccines. We pray for their safety, we pray for their success. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our communities, our nation, our world. Pray for relief. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving today. We pray in thanksgiving for our faith. We pray in thanksgiving for God who never abandons us. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Gracious God, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask you continue to watch over and guide us each day. Help us always to recognize you in our midst. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth you work with human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work with human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Accept, O oh Lord, the gifts we offer in the name of the Lord. May they bring for us, may they be for us the source of your power and a remedy of healing and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. Us. It is truly right to just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the light of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with passable joy, every land and every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all of Remember also 
our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. And now we pray as Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let's offer one another the sign of peace. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord, may we receive these gifts of purity of heart. May they bring us healing and strength now and forever. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to eternal life. Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a good day.